Tonight, city leaders in Ferguson are urging residents to stay home after yet another round of violence there last night. Four police officers injured, two people shot by other civilians, and 78 other people arrested. The city bracing itself for another night of violence, rioting and looting. So far, nothing. Not a curfew, the National Guard, nor pleas from President Obama were enough to stop the lawlessness that broke out after the police shooting of unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown last week. Perhaps one of the most frustrating issues surrounding the case is that we will never fully know what happened that night. But as News Channel at 9's Jordan Abadea shows us, there is a special piece of equipment police could wear that would give us a better picture of what to place. Recent events in Ferguson, Missouri have spurred talks about officers wearing cameras. But here in DeWitt County, sheriff's deputies have been using that technology for almost a year. Door here, you slide it down, it comes on, it starts recording, and then when we're finished recording, we push it back up and it's uh, turned off. DeWitt County Sheriff's deputies and correctional officers are the only ones in central Illinois using body cameras. The technology comes with benefits, but the system isn't perfect. The state's attorney has advised deputies to ask subjects for permission to record the situation, unless it's a traffic stop when dash cams are already recording. The benefit of it is that you get a true and accurate uh, depiction of what has happened when you're, when you're somewhere. Um, if we go to the scene, we turn this on, they give us permission to record what's happening then we have, have an accurate description of what happens. The cameras cost the county around $30,000, money well spent, according to Chief Deputy Walker, who says the evidence from the cameras has already been used to prevent a lawsuit. But we had an inmate in the jail who was uh, complaining he had shoulder pain, and uh, one of our correctional officers, shortly after he went to the nurse and complained about the shoulder pain, that he wasn't getting the treatment that he needed, uh, probably 10, 15 minutes later, observed him doing push-ups in, uh, in one of our pods, and she recorded him doing that. Privacy advocates don't like the idea of recording people, but for residents of DeWitt County who are watching what's happening in Ferguson on TV, the benefits outweigh any concerns. I think that the more protection for our officers, the better. There wouldn't be any question of what happened. Um, I also think that um, it'd be easier for the attorneys. You have a lot more evidence, so I think it's a really good idea. It seems like a good idea to me because there's never a question about what happens if you have it on video. The sheriff's office tells us they haven't had any negative experiences with the cameras yet. In DeWitt County, Jordan Abadea for News Channel at 9 on Fox Illinois. DeWitt County officials hope the General Assembly will address the ruling over the eavesdropping law so they can record all of their interactions without permission.